I'm Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez and God has called and commissioned me to preach the good news of the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. My dear friend, I encourage you as I share a message with you and I pray for you today. Be in agreement, connect in faith, believe and you shall receive in the name of Jesus. Hello and welcome to another video brought to you by GFM United Prayer and Revival Ministry Studios. It's Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez here and I greet you in the wonderful name of Jesus. That name above all names, the name that is a strong tower. We run to it and we are saved. God is good. God is gracious. God is merciful. And he continues to do miracles, signs and wonders. He does what only he can do. And I tell you, my dear friend, he's going to do it in your life. We've received so many testimonies. Whatever your prayer request is, God will answer your prayer and he will bless you. He will see you through. If it's your first time on this channel, I encourage you to subscribe, click that bell icon and join on a daily basis and God will bless you. The title of my message today is Don't Be Discouraged If Your Calling Is Difficult and If It Takes Much Effort. And I know, I trust, I believe this message will bless you as it shows from the Word of God what it takes to be successful in certain areas in life. Now let us begin by welcoming the Holy Spirit. Wherever you are, just lift up your hands and say this out loud. Say, Holy Spirit of God, I welcome you. Come, Lord Holy Spirit, and take over control. Help me to pray. Help me to press in. Help me to receive from the Father today. I ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, my dear friend, many people want to do great things. Many people want to enjoy the benefits of great things. They want to sit in the high places. They want to enjoy great wealth. They want to enjoy great blessings in this lifetime. They want to be well esteemed. They want to be in places of leadership and places of influence. But they don't want to pay the price. You see, with everything, there is a price that you'll need to pay. From seeking God on a daily basis, there is a price that you pay. That price is in the effort that you put in seeking Him. To reading the Word of God, there is a price that you pay. To running a business, there is a price that you pay if you want that business to be successful. To succeeding in a certain career, there is a price that you have to pay in prayer and in effort and in making wise decisions. Whatever it might be, there is a price that we need to pay. There's a term that's very famous among economists. And that term or statement is, there ain't no such thing as a free meal. And when you look at this statement, you understand and know that for everything, there is an opportunity cost. For everything that you do. There is a price that you'll have to pay. There is a price that you have to pay. There is something that you have to give up. There is something that it will take from you in order for you to get there. And this includes spiritual things. This includes going far in your purpose and destiny. This includes making it big in life. This includes reaching high levels in life. This includes walking in great callings and becoming a world-renowned leader. There is a price that you'll have to pay. Now, let's look at what the Bible has to say about this. The Bible says in the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 24, and I'm going to read to you from the ESV version. It says, Do you not know that in a race all the runners run, but only one receives the prize? So run that you may obtain it. So in a race, all the runners run, but only one receives the prize. Now, what will it take for you to be that one who will receive the prize? What will it take for you to be that person who comes out on top, who wins the race? Imagine you're running a marathon or you're running a sprinting race, whatever race it is. What will it take for you to succeed and be the winner of that race? You will have to give your best effort because you will be among people who are giving their best effort. You will have to fight for it. You will have to push as hard as you can. You will have to press on and push. Pray until something happens and also push in the physical. Push as hard as you can so that you may obtain it, so that you may succeed. 
in order to be successful in this life, it would require some degree of a mindset that sees things like that. Now the Bible also says in the book of 2 Chronicles chapter 15 verse 7, and now I'm going to read to you from the NIV version. It says, But as for you, be strong and do not give up, for your work will be rewarded. Now, what I want to encourage you today also is not to give up. If it seems like it's difficult, if it seems like things are not happening, if it seems like there's just so much to do, and this is just a whole nother level, and you're not able to do it, don't give up. Keep on trying. Because every time you keep on trying, you're going up. You're increasing your capacity. You're increasing your ability to handle situations. You're increasing your ability to break through and to hold greater levels of leadership. You're increasing your ability to walk in greater heights and greater glories. But as for you, be strong and do not give up, for your work will be rewarded. Now the Bible also says in the book of Galatians chapter 6 verse 9, it says, Let us not become weary in doing good, for at the proper time, I'll read that once again, at the proper time we will reap a harvest if we do not give up. Now, there's a condition there, and that condition is not giving up. So there is something that's required from us, and that's consistency, perseverance, willingness to pay the price, and not giving up. Now the Bible says in the Gospel of Luke chapter 18 verse 1, also in the NIV version, it says, Then Jesus told his disciples a parable to show them that they should pray always and not give up. Now, this highlights another aspect to it. As born-again believers, we cannot be separated from prayer. We cannot be separated from the spiritual things. We cannot be separated from seeking our God. So in our walk and in our run, if you want to be successful in our race, in whatever we are pushing to achieve in this life, if you want to be successful, you need to also pray. You need much prayer. You need to seek God concerning that thing and pray until something happens. So that's another area, as I mentioned earlier, that you need to push in prayer. Even if you just want to get closer to God, you need to seek Him. You need that willingness to seek Him. Many people want the fruit, but they don't want to put in the labor. Today I encourage you, put in the labor and don't become discouraged when you're putting in the labor. And in due time you will reap a harvest. The Bible says in the book of Joshua chapter 1 verse 9, it says, Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Now, the part that stands out to me over here with particular emphasis on today's message is be strong. Be strong. Be strong. Use that energy. Use that strength to push on through. Use that strength that comes from God. As you seek God in prayer, He's going to give you strength. Use that strength to push on and to go because God will be with you wherever you go. Another scripture I want to share with you showing that you can do all things, even though it might seem impossible, is from the book of Philippians chapter 4, verse 13. It says, I can do all things through Him who gives me strength. Now this is so important. We need to understand and know that our strength comes from Christ. And therefore, if something looks hard, difficult or impossible in this natural realm, it is still possible. Understand and know it is possible because you are not going in your own strength, but you are going through Christ's strength that is working in you. So all things are possible. Don't give up. Don't give in. Press on. Achieve that dream. Make that business successful. Push on in that career. Push on. Don't give up. The last but not the least scripture is from the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 16 and it's verse 13. And it says, Be on your guard. Stand firm in faith. Be courageous and be strong. This is another aspect. We need to be on our guard because there are certain tricks that the enemy will try and bring to try and pull us off course and to try and discourage us. So we should be on our guard. 
The second thing that's mentioned in that scripture is stand firm in the faith. So stand firm and believe God. Whether it's studies, whether it's a business, whether it's a certain achievement you're trying to achieve in life, stand firm and believe God that God will help you to achieve it. Whether it's anything that God has called you to do, stand firm and believe God. Be courageous and be strong and God will bless you. My dear friend, if you're trusting God for anything, if you're trusting God, I encourage you, keep on trusting Him. He will do miracles, signs and wonders in your life. Miracles are still happening today. God is able to do it for you. Even in the area of your calling, of your purpose, of your destiny, if it seems difficult and you're trusting God to see you through, God will see you through. God will deliver you. God will make it possible for you so that you can make it so that you can come out shining, so that you can be successful, so that you can go up and not down in the name of Jesus. But in saying that, let us begin to praise God. We're going to go into a time of prayer. And even as we begin to pray, I trust, know and believe God is going to bless you. Wherever you are, begin to praise him and thank him. Father, thank you for today. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for your love. Your love never runs out on us. And you are so gracious. You are so merciful. You are slow to anger and abounding in love. We thank you for your miracles. We thank you for your signs. We thank you for for what you do. We give you praise and we thank you in the name of Jesus Christ that you'll never leave us helpless. We thank you today for all that you do for us, even the small things, the things that we sometimes overlook. We thank you and we give you praise for all that you do. And we lift up your name for you are great and you are worthy to be praised. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen and amen. My dear friend, I discern God's presence. Now I'm going to pray for you. And I want you to trust and believe that God will give you that strength and that capacity to press on. Because remember, for every greater level and greater glory that you go to, you will have to adapt and increase your capacity to handle that. And only when you increase your capacity, then you can go to the next level. So I'm going to pray for you and God will do something amazing. But as we begin, I want to encourage you comment down below in the comment section and agree with me. There's so much power in agreement. And even as you comment and agree, God is going to bless you. But in saying that, let us begin. Father, I pray for my dear friend who's watching this video. I pray that you will release grace and strength over my dear friend. That my dear friend will push on and not give up. That my dear friend will be able to pay the price and succeed and achieve great things. I thank you, Lord, for wisdom, knowledge, and understanding that is being given to my dear friend right now. In that area of that purpose, in that area of that destiny, in that area of that calling, whether the calling is towards ministry or towards business or towards a certain career field, whatever it is, whether it's towards humanitarian efforts, Father, I thank you that the grace is being released to my dear friend right now and the wisdom, the knowledge, the understanding to succeed. Give my dear friend the divine ability to push on and not give up. A stubborn persistence at achieving great things. That my dear friend will not give up, my dear friend will not give in, but my dear friend will press on through and receive the prize. I ask this in Jesus' name and I thank you for it, Lord. I thank you for your grace. I thank you for your mercy. And I thank you today that you're doing what only you can do. If my dear friend has tuned in and my dear friend is trusting you today for miracles, signs, and wonders, do miracles, signs, and wonders in my dear friend's life. I ask this in Jesus' name. And I thank you for it, Lord. Amen and amen. My dear friend, wherever you are, God bless you and God keep you. God, make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May God give you strength to do all things. In Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen. Until we meet again soon, from myself, Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez, and the GFM United Prayer and Revival Ministry Studio team, God bless you and goodbye. In saying that, my dear friend, we come to the end of this video. If you are blessed by this video and you feel led to donate or to partner with us to support us in this work that we are doing, then you can do so through PayPal or Patreon. All the links are provided in the description. Until next time, God bless you and goodbye.